Hello guys, this is um, another RC Man 13 review. And this time it's on another hobby grade vehicle, just like my my dynamite, but it's not the same design or anything. What it is is called the MRP Ripper. It's probably not heard of very well. It's not a very big name brand, and uh, yeah, definitely not a big name brand. Thing is definitely pretty big under the hood. So it's kind of, it's it's uh for a hundred bucks RC Boga. I, I think you can find it some other places too. It uh, comes as almost ready to run. It comes with this nice body. Lexan body. It's, it, they didn't skip on plastic. It's a really nice hard compound body. It um, uh, it's a stadium truck. Takes three clips. Oops. And um, it takes these. It has oil filled shocks in the front. It has oil filled shocks. It has dependent suspension in the back, oil fill. Now it's two wheel drive because it's a stadium truck. It's got this uh, really good turning. It's got this really nice steering servo. And uh, comes with a normal connector, just like um, regular Tamiya connector. Just like on any other vehicle, you've definitely probably seen it. And um, you might have some problems with it at first. Because the ESC is set to light mode, what you do is turn it on, and um, you take the set, press it twice, and if it turns red, oh, press it twice really fast, it, it blinks red, that means it's on lipo set, so then do it again, then if it flashes green, that means it's on regular nickel metal hydrate battery setting. And the uh, thing is 27 megahertz um, receiver, and it um, wraps up this wire right here. It has this really long antenna, comes up top. It has chrome wheels, and it's real smooth right here. And it has spiky tires in the back for a gripping ter rough terrain. And um has the battery compartment up here. Well I'm charging my battery right now so I can't um so I can't show you it right now. I'm using actually a two thousand milliamp um nitro power seven point two volt battery pack. Well, let's take a look at the motor. It's a seventeen turn motor. It's a size four 540 motor and um you get some power out of that um uh, I did a wheelie once with this thing and um it only lasted I think like three seconds and it went back down so it's not much of a wheelie monster unless you um put some lipo in it and upgrade it maybe then you can do some wheelies and stuff well, and it's got these really beefy arms right here. Really beefy. Axle bombs. And, um, and it's got, um, it's got these, um, ball bearings right here. So it spins really freely. Very freely. It doesn't stop for a while. So it's really good for a, for a two-wheel drive truck and um flexibility is pretty good 
and all, it's pretty good. Thing is, the only thing is, I don't really like this motor setup. First time I got it, well, the um, slipper clutch burned out a ton of times, came off and stuff, so um, I had to get it replaced a ton of times. And then, I think it was just for us, it was a faulty model. Um, we took it and made it a one um, one gear driven instead of that. We just glued it together. Now it's driven with just one gear here. Yeah. So, um, take up the two S Lycos. There's these nice beefy drive shafts. The axles. It has full ball bearings in the back, too. See, it kind of you can see it slide. You can totally see it slide right here. Okay, enough talking about this. Um, right here. Let's look at the controller. It's a um, 27 megahertz. I think. Yeah, 27 megahertz controller. Jaguar, not much of a controller, but it's 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 okay. The um, pistol grip has this spring-loaded um controller um steering wheel. And you have your uh dual rates, your on off switch and um your um, steering neutral and reverse uh, as well as throttle and it's a two channel system and doesn't have that um, flip up um, antenna like I have on my Dynamite like a light it has this um, flick upwards antenna But it's alright. I'm probably gonna upgrade this um, radio system. It takes eight double A's. Yeah, I just don't want to take it out. But... Yep. So it's a hundred bucks from RC Boca. It's a pretty good deal I would say I would say it's definitely worth it yeah it's definitely worth the definitely worth it but if you um but exceed makes one like this too and I would I recommend looking into that also but if if you just wanna buy this it's a pretty good truck but exceed makes them really good stuff really good uh, short course and of course look into the Traxxas Rustler make a really good short course truck and of course um, HPI makes a good e-firestorm and the nitro firestorm it actually comes in brushless for the e-firestorm electric firestorm that's what it's called and um Yeah, and look into those too. So this is just a little good stadium truck, beginner truck. I would say it goes about maybe 22 miles per hour, maybe. About the same as my Dynamite. Maybe a little bit, maybe a touch slower, but maybe like half a mile per hour slower, but that don't really matter. So, so it's a pretty good truck. Pretty good deal. Maybe our MRP. So stay tuned, um, look at different reviews on our channel, comment, review, and subscribe to RCMan13's network. See you guys.